Hey there guys, welcome back to Kilted Gamers. Welcome back to This is the Police. Now, my police department is in chaos. My man Jay Boogie's missing. There is violence on the streets. Basically, I went into a coma for a few days, and look what happens. So, time to go and restore some order to this. I want to have a sports car now. Yeah, fine. I kind of need my detectives, but yeah, whatever. Yes, Millsap, you're a good cop. No, Subaki, I need you. Jorgensen, who are you? Go. Gardner, gonna need you. Sorry. Sorry, Powers, I'm gonna need you. I'm, I'm really sorry, Purdy. Um... I, I need cops and I'm not getting them. There's nothing. Back in business. Right, Narrow detective. Marlo. Put him on B. Hey, I have a, a raise, and I can improve the SWAT team. Give me their efficiency up. Here we go. Two teenagers were sitting on some steps and smoking. Black man approached and asked for a cigarette. Go ask somebody else, monkey. The adolescents responded. The man grew enraged, quickly pulled out a knife and drove it into the chest of one of the teens. Uh, upon the other teenager, who managed to escape, but then took a cigarette, quietly sat down the steps and started smoking. Okay. My mouse is not behaving itself. Simmons, Subaki, and this Ozaki guy. Go. Oh, where are all my good cops? Shift B was my A team. Mars Queen heard from a neighboring apartment a panic female voice cry out, Help, I'm being raped. And according to him, always quiet for you. Then I heard something about laundry and search and bleach, and some music started playing. I'm feeling false alarm may come out of this one, but let's check it out anyway. Investigations. Do we have any more frames? Anywhere with that one. Theft. Not getting anywhere with that one. Robbery. We know it was the doctor guy, but we. You're just not. Ah, this is the one that's the chance at sand, isn't it? This homicide, or is it that? Ah, it's not. It's the. Um, Besides the one I lost, it's a hit and run. Yeah. Report from the ghetto. Report from the ghetto. Which is the offender was caught. Nice work, guys. Um, 
Jason and Pruitt was conducting a regular inspection of the Transformers substation from the dirty, hairy bum who pounced on him like a wild bear. The homeless man bit him pretty severely, ripping a piece of flesh from his hand. The electrician was stunned him, but managed to run away from the substation, leaving the suspect inside. Should get some cops back before that one's ready. Give me a report on the rape. Yeah, that's what I thought. They were watching some horror movies at full volume. Pavlovina, girl. Oh, good point. You're not. I'm not allowed to send cops out there alone. I gotta leave it. Pavlovina, go back up the others or whatever that was. Vendor escape. Civilian killed? What the hell? Which will be widely covered by the TV. Three boys from our city services, including the police, should come out to help. Powers, Shivers, Osaki. You're not from my original team. You guys can get out of there and do the useless thing the city all wants us to do. Carjacking, what we got? Fender Court. Massive fight. About a dozen homeless people were sifting through a landfill for valuables and came across a case with a combination mark. While well, deciding how to split the content, the group began to fight. A few of them have knives and eyewitness called the police and some reports seem ready. But, and reports that some seem ready for a fight to the death. Let's send the entire team supported by the paddy wagon. Defenders caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Nice work, team. Get back here with the paddy wagon. Because we need you. Because exotic dancer Marissa Gomez complained about the strange man in a raincoat. One of our rooms can be seen from the street, so we can attract customers. Customers, not perverts. This isn't the first time we chase this guy away. He comes all the time wearing a raincoat no matter what the weather, and it seems like he's touching himself. Okay. I have a team on the way back. They... We'll be able to help you. Okay, that's pretty Subaki Pavlovina. Go deal with the inappropriate guy. What about this? A woman called to complain about a car alarm. This howling woke me up. I have to get up for work tomorrow. I looked out the window, so I don't feel like forget duck into an alley. I think there's someone trying to steal a car. Go. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Pressing his nose against the glass and touching himself. Sir? There we go. Come on. Please get back in time. Don't think you're going to. What we got? No new frames. Of course you haven't. You're useless. No new frames. Of course you haven't. You're useless. No new frames. Of course you haven't. You're useless. And uh, the vehicle security system is too sensitive. Fight. Offender escaped. 
Another civilian killed. I don't have enough cops anymore. Beyond the fact that my cops seem to refuse to go anywhere. Yeah, Powers is out for the count. The others are too tired as well. It's fine. Mr. Boyd, I'm going home. Uh, do you need anything? Oh, no. No, don't go. I need to talk to you. I won't keep you long. I just need to make one phone call and I'll be right out, okay? Of course, Mr. Boyd. Do you know what time it is? I didn't mean the... Uh, well, maybe I did. Guess I'm a son of a bitch. Jack? Good lord, Jack, I wanted to talk to you. Was wondering if you'd call. How do you feel? I'm good, Mrs. Markham. Better than ever. The back pain is gone, the insomnia is gone, my hair is growing back, and my pathological indecisiveness seems to have run off somewhere. Jack, if you think I had anything to do with that... I'll waste no more time trying to think, Mrs. Markham. Every second counts. There's a lot to do. And one of those things is finding Laura. Jack, your tone is scaring me. Good. Turns out I have a knack for that. Scaring people. So, Mrs. Markham, I'm gonna look for my wife, and if you somehow get in my way, I'll send a special squad to your house. First, they'll throw your dog in the fire, then they'll arrest you for prostitution. What? What the he Prostitution? Sometimes it's necessary to invent charges. It's not like I can arrest you for being an unbearable bitch. I went evil. Emma, I need a detective. Oh, of course, Mr. Boyd. What shift? No, 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 not one of ours. A private detective. Oh. Um... I know that when your father stole your mother's jewelry and left her, you hired a private investigator. You didn't go to the police. Uh, you know, Mr. Boyd, it was a family problem, and we felt that it would... I understand perfectly, Emma. You don't need to explain anything. I'm in a similar situation. As you might have heard, my wife left the house. She's missing, you could say. Uh, I'm not sure what you're... I know you've heard all about it. I want her found, but I don't want the department involved. Same reason you didn't. So I decided to hire your private detective. Think you can arrange it? Oh, of course, Mr. Boyd. I'll call him and arrange everything. And don't worry, he'll keep it a secret. Fine. Uh, what do you need from me? Well... Just gather all the information that might be useful, and put it in an envelope, bring it to me, and I'll take it to him. Good. Okay, take the day off tomorrow and get a good night's sleep. The day after tomorrow, I'll have that envelope for you. We when we've gone mad. Crocodile found in the city river, Mayor Rogers displeased, uh, maybe my fault, and Mayor Rogers will bring order to the police station, will he hell? Because I'm going to war, Bukarika, yeah sure, whatever Bukaroo, Numata, Numata's here. Yes. No. Because the others didn't come in, so I need you. Where is it? Get me back in business. We have been pestered by the LGB organization with constant whining about gay rights. Recently, things have been relatively quiet, but last week three high school teachers were fired under laws banning the promotion of homosexuality among adolescents. These teachers spread the LGB brochures among our school children, teaching them tolerance. Dismiss them fairly from the law, but activists are gathered outside the school rioting and protests. The children aren't there to learn about men kissing and the rest of the circus. 
the participant needs to be taught a lesson, so think twice next time about trying to climb out the holes. Go to hell. Yay, hey, my salary. 150 gays and lesbians have admit. I've gathered the school, ran to talk to the administration. Uh, the headmaster refused to open a dialogue and locked himself in his office. Okay. Bloody hell, fella. You got good. Vandal. Grant. Birch Jr. Wang. Swat in the party wagon. And we do not go back. Hey. The teacher for Ashley and the local law by back is, however, the protesters have a right to assemble and express themselves as long as no one did. Uh, I have a couple of ideas about how you can cover yourself if things go sideways. Things aren't going to go sideways. Things are not going to go sideways. Oh, five seconds left. That's fine. What's going on? Threatening phone calls. Ola Paget said the second time a man called her on the uh, phone threatened her, saying he's going to feed lead to her whole family. I heard some men laughing in the background talking about how they can't wait to try their new machine guns and live targets. I'm quite a well-known political activist in Freeburg, so the threats could be related to my work. Vela, Shaw, Smith, Barcelona, Mazza, go. I can't give you the SWAT team, unfortunately. Nope. I can't give you anything. I don't have anything. Sorry, guys. Well done, guys. Loot found automatic weapon. Bring it here. Prostitution. Chauffeur Sil Slipper is enraged at the presence of prostitutes along a road in the outskirts of city. And there are a dozen prostitutes lined up and trying to throw themselves to the passing vehicle. Some are exposing their breasts and asses in an attempt to attract customers. Get over here right away and deal with the shamelessness. This one is child molestation. Um. Okay. Team's back for dealing with the prostitutes. Go, 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 go. Support with the paddy wagon. Go. The rest of you better get back here within 15 minutes. Come on. Thank you. Fella. Shaw. Smith. Mazza. Go. Prostitution, offender caught, officers unharmed. Nice work. Whoa, mass riot. Young person called in, good god, the prostitutes kind of passed. Dozens of zombies are in the park, just like in the movies. Oh my god, vampires, Freeburg is doing, send the National Guard. Looks it's like going to be a false alarm. Here. The garage, you can see a male figure trying to climb on top of a struggling woman who's thrown under couch. The schoolgirl is crying loudly. Get it. Just, yeah. Order him to open it. Go in with force that time. It's probably going to be a false alarm. Let me get the this team back and then I'll just send them all if I support them with the SWAT so if it is anything wrong I don't need to support them with the SWAT go
People are idiots. Uh, but it says false alarm. People are idiots. Uh, Miss Kazmi complains that her neighbours are arguing very intently. They're a young, hot-headed couple, and it sounds like they're about to come to blows. Vela, take Shaw, Grant, and Birch Jr. And you know what? Bit of swap back up and go see what that's about. The mayor himself. Oh, I am serving the city. I'm just not serving you. Uh, a woman said she was out for her evening job and noticed a black guy in a hood following behind her. I was able to get away from him, but I'm afraid this bastard is still lurking in the park, waiting for one of the other girls. Okay. Got a team on that. Domestic disturbance. No one was quarreling. The world was walking out to loud TV. The woman was made a salad and cut her finger rather badly. It was one of the neighbors to call an ambulance. The husband was only trying to stop breathing with a towel. And he's a medical student who also runs at night. Good. I'm glad we have had a day of false alarms. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. Ten of murder. Some guys over here who crossed the transvestite and decided to work him over. They stripped the guy off the guy's tights and they're going to lynch him with them. Uh, so the guy hanging over the bar. That was close. No new frames. Why are my detectives incompetent? Right, okay, hang on. Let me just see here. Give me... Give me the... Give me the robbery. Mosley's on his own there. Detectives. Marlowe. Gordon. Support him. Do whatever you need to do. Just get him supported. Oh, because my detectives are all bloody useless. The situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Why don't you have absolutely bloody everybody? Because we have time for that. It's 3 a.m. and time stops at 3 a.m. In Freeburg. So. Bend a court. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Well done. End the day. Shift B, how are we looking? A bit better. We're going to have a few people request time off to rest, but that's fine. Police Academy students selling cocaine. Great. Crazy arms. Film plot. Twister. Strip club owner. My dance are all feminists. Um, yeah. What we got? All the information about Laura, just like you asked. Mr. Boyd, keep your voice down. Someone could be listening. Oh, I'm sorry, Emma. It's my first time doing something like this. Here's the envelope. Everything's in there. Fine. Mr. Boyd, please write for Mr. Fry on this envelope and drop it in the mailbox across the street. What? I don't want this handled like it's some kind of game. Mr. Boyd, those are the rules. Now please, lower your voice. Fine. Uh, okay, Emma. I'll put this envelope in the mailbox across the street, just like you said. Wonder how that damn Mr. Fry is gonna get an envelope out of the mailbox. Talking to yourself, Mr. Boyd? 
and we thought we'd have to catch you at the police station. But it turns out Jack Boyd has come down to meet us personally. Do you know why we're here, Mr. Boyd? I don't even know who you are. My name is Eugene Chaffee. I'm a businessman. Rather, a restaurateur. Although I usually tell everyone I'm a businessman. Uh, which sounds better? Businessman or restaurateur? Asshole. Oh, I think I've heard of you. You have a restaurant and a slaughterhouse. Uh, and you serve refried veal steaks. <laughs> well, refried veal steaks isn't my only business. But perhaps it's what I'm best known for. I thought it was time we meet Mr. Boyd and my friend here. I believe you're already acquainted. His name is Troy Star. Never heard of him. So what do you want, Mr. Chaffee? Looking for a spokesman for your beef products? I recently changed my image and my hair. Eugene and I really want to help you, Mr. Boyd. Although after our phone call, I've had my doubts. I was making love to my wife and you called me and told me to fuck myself. That kind of behavior is rude and inappropriate, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. Starr. Just thumbing my nose at that prick mayor of ours. You keep making love to your wife, or uh, did I ruin the mood? There's a nice cafe around the corner. Spare us a couple of minutes of your time, Mr. Boyd. Lately I've been so busy that I really get to sit and relax in such a nice place. And with such interesting company. Get to the point, Mr. Chaffee. I'm busy, too. In fact, I think I hear some teenagers next door robbing and raping an old woman. Maybe she's your aunt. <laughs> you see, Mr. Boyd. Good morning. What do you want? A big mug of beer. We don't serve big mugs of beer. Then a small mug of beer. We don't have beer in any size glasses. This is a family restaurant. Moms and dads come with small children. I can bring you a lollipop to suck on. Monica, where's your famous charm? Bring the gentleman a beer. I'm sure you've got a bottle under the counter. Check between the dead cats and the dried heads of your ex-boyfriends. This man, by the way, is your police chief. Don't be silly. The police chief has a bald spot the size of a toilet seat. So, as I was... Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. It's Rogers. Probably forgot how to wipe his ass. <laughs> when you're 82, Troy, you'll probably forget you need to wipe your ass at all. But very well. Run along. We can continue without you. So, Mr. Boyd, as you may already know, the official job of my old friend Mr. Star is to cause trouble for you. <laughs> but believe me, it's not out of malice. It's to maintain his cover at City Hall. But to somewhat balance out this trouble, I've decided to help you out. Every day, pay close attention to your morning newspaper, Mr. Boyd. You'll find messages hidden among the pages. Simple notes, but make no mistake, the information you'll find there is extremely useful. <laughs> you see, Troy Star isn't my only spy. Um... That's it, Mr. Boyd. I told you it would only take a couple of minutes. I wouldn't want to disturb you while you're enjoying your drink. Keep in touch, my dear little cupcake. <laughs> oh yes, I'm quite good at puns. Never imagined what meeting Robespierre would be like. But I certainly didn't figure the first thing he'd do was buy me a drink. Getting them to serve a beer at a family cafe? And this Robespierre has some strange superpowers. Strange, but not entirely useless. I wondered if that was Robespierre. No, Morgan, I need you. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you're out of the count. Yeah, Purdy, okay. You're an alcoholic, Purdy? God. What have they done to my department over a year? Okay, let's go to war. Nine eleven in progress. Wow. 
Elderly security guard Robert Childress saw six people break through a hole in the security fence around a construction yard, climb onto the site, and start filling up a cart with bricks. First, the guard was only worried about the stolen building materials, but when the few started climbing on the more dangerous construction areas, he began to fear for their lives. These idiots are going to get themselves killed. You gotta hurry. Right around the corner, we can send everybody. Get going. Don't worry, we got time. Suburb 1140. 500. 500 sand? I'll see what the crime is, but 500 is. Uh, when the suspect was running around, almost fell down an elevator staff. He sat right next to the edge, just terror in his eyes. Easy kid. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the team. Yeah, okay. Robbery. A young man who's just been robbed called in a report. He came through the gate with a knife, demanded my wallet. I tried to run, but he caught me and pushed me to the ground. In addition to my wallet, he took my watch, shoes, and even my belt. My mother gave that to me. Subaki, can you lead the charge on this one? Take Jorgensen and Osaki with you. Anna Carlton went to wash her hands before eating. But wandered in the cafe's kitchen while I was taking a look around, so uh, several bags of white powder. I know cocaine a mile away. I watch TV. You probably don't know cocaine a mile away. This is probably going to be flour or sugar or something. But let's send it all just to be safe. What's this? Mr. Boyd, you don't know me. I suppose that's just as well. As for what I do, you probably wouldn't approve. So I won't bother with any unnecessary details. I'll get straight to the point. But one very specific, uh, let's call it an operation. I need three dead police officers, one female and two male. Race and age do not matter. I'll return in a couple of days to collect the bodies. We wouldn't want them decomposing. Shift B. Shift A, rather. Shift A's got better cops. Get rid of Jorgensen. Fitzsimmons is actually, she's turning out better than she used to be, so that's okay. Fitzsimmons. So Jorgensen, Shivers, and Millsap, I suppose. She's the weakest cop on the on the block, so. Her man just called in. His voice was high-pitched and sounded hysterical. Hello, please, some kind of bro beast broke into my apartment. It's running all over everywhere. Got one bite from this thing and I'm dead. Hurry. Salt. Told you. Robbery. The defender was caught. I Jorgensen, I know he's higher up in terms of his ability, but he's also old and tired, so he's not really that much good to me. You three handle that. I'm gonna wait until Jor Jorgensen gets back in and then I'm gonna pull off that falsified report. Okay. I'll check that out in a second. Let's give Sand a call. Tomorrow at shit. I gotta take I gotta choose people from shift day. Oh I gotta choose people from shift day. Okay. Cynthia Jason has just filed a complaint against a workman at her building. 
because he's very vulgar and follows her around. And now she's such a horrible jerk punish him. This seems legitimate. Show me shift A. Mazza, Huang. And either Smith or Barcelona. I don't know either of them, so it's fine. And and beyond that, I have cops who are willing to come, so that's fine. Investigations. Let me pull some in detectives off. Investigations. Neither of you are on the shift. Help with you're not good enough on your own. Morgan, if you and Papworth work together, do you reckon you could handle this one? Sand, I didn't see anything that was a large wasp. Eleven eleven CDS progress. Drug manufacturing. According to an anonymous source, a house registered to Ernest Franklin is being used to produce and store large quantities of drugs. Mr. Franklin had a record mile long including illegal weapons and drug charges. Last time we had him in here, just open fire on some teenagers for climbing into his yard to retrieve a baseball. Okay, we will wait for the backup there. Four police today, very important for my daughter. She's getting married and I want to be perfect. Yeah, Devlin, busy. The others can serve as backup for you lot. We don't have time to wait for them. A tall middle-aged man was dressed in an unbuttoned red coat and white t-shirt. Upon entering the store, he went right for the alcohol, picked up a six-pack and headed to the checkout. Stand right in front of this guy he seemed pretty suspicious to me and what a nasty smell. I could. I got away from him as fast as I could, and on the way out, told one of the guards to keep an eye on him. I was in line with this guy, who was obviously in a hurry and very nervous. He handed the cashier his credit card, and when the cashier told him his account was empty, he pulled out his gun out and shot the poor girl in the head. And the guard who was standing nearby tried to grab his gun, but the guy was too fast and finished him off. Me and my partner Ron were talking when a woman came up and said we should watch the strange man at the checkout. Ron went over there, and I saw the flash of her shots, and this guy was rushing to the exit with his beer. I was in such shock I didn't have time to do anything. I didn't even have a chance to get my gun out. About to go inside, suddenly this idiot jumps out and almost knocks me over. I didn't have time to yell anything. He just jumped on his bike and left. He jumped on his bike, huh? A woman called in, speaking in awestruck praise. I hear from my wall the trumpeting of angels. Oh, the Lord comes, build his glory. The television was right. Guys, go see what that is. I think I might have to let that crime go because I don't have the cops to handle it. I don't, I don't have the ability, guys. You got to handle it. Ficus. Bring it here. I think that one's gonna go. Yeah, I thought that would be the case. That one was gonna be a false alarm. Uh, 
and the robbery of the offenders. Okay. Oh my god. The club bouncer says they detained a weird guy who took off his clothes and started molesting girls on the dance floor. Come pick this idiot up and hold him off. Shin. This one should be easy. I have frames. I doubt that one, but okay. And he didn't grab a bottle, he grabbed the six pack, so. No new frames on the armed robbery, of course not. Nothing. 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 I'm gonna do a switch around of detectives in the next episode. Make sure everyone's on the right shift. Uh, chin. Nice work. End the day, I suppose. Okay, well, that was several shifts of what is now hell. I have to choose someone from shift A because I feel like this is one of those things that's very morally grey but could strangely turn out good. I don't know, I have a strange feeling about it. So, it's a chance to get rid of some of the cops that I didn't hire because I'm not convinced. If I didn't put out the hire for them, I'm 100% I'm not convinced of them actually working. So, we'll see. Let's, uh, so next time, I'll see, uh, see how all that goes. Um, yeah.